ANC and IFP clashed in downtown Johannesburg. 19 people died in the bloodbath. Inkata had staged a march which would pass the then ANC headquarters Shell House. Uh, prior to the clash, the ANC said that IFP marchers had planned to attack its headquarters. This was later rejected by the Nugent Commission of Inquiry. IFP members marching towards Shell House in GP Street in Johannesburg. This was the ANC seat of power. At the time of the march, the ANC and IFP were barely on speaking terms. Still technically under control of the apartheid state, national elections would only be held a month later. The IFP wanted international mediation on their demands. These included rights for traditional leaders and the Zulu king. The party had threatened to boycott the country's first democratic poll. South Africa will be a catastrophe. We are going to destroy. Now I will go to the polls on the 27th. As the marchers passed Shell House, shots rang out. Fired by NC security guards. Justifying the shooting, NC guards argued the protesters had stormed the building and that they had received a tip-off that this was planned. The purposes of his perpetrators are crystal clear to make it impossible to hold free and fair elections which will clearly demonstrate whom the people of South Africa want as their government. The Nugent Commission rejected the argument that the IFP was planning to storm the building. Police concurred that shots were fired from Shell House. It definitely was shooting coming from the buildings into the crowd. The ANC President Nelson Mandela later told Parliament he had given the ANC guards permission to shoot if threatened. Mandela was reported to have warned the then President F.W. de Klerk and police about the threat, but no action was taken. A statement that the IFP's Dr. Butelezi would later describe as painful to hear he noted that President Mandela's honesty about Shell House enhanced his admiration for him, calling him a man of truth, saying others at the helm of their country would dare make such confessions. Eleven members of the ANC who were implicated in the Shell House shootings were granted amnesty by the TRC. The victims' families opposed the applications, but the TRC found they'd met the requirements of the Amnesty Act. In 25 years, much has changed. From political violence of the late 80s and early 90s to a vibrant and thriving constitutional democracy. Lehana Tsotetsi, SABC News. The ambassador